Welcome to the course overview for Roasting Foundations with the Specialty Coffee Association. Now, I love this course because I love roasting coffee. So much happens at the roaster and it's really that first critical point where you've purchased your green coffee, you've been sampling green coffee, hopefully now it's your job to keep that quality preserved because you made a good purchase decision. And then you need to be able to uh, bring out what's best in those beans so that you can serve them to your clients if you're selling wholesale or your customers if you have a retail location. So the Specialty Coffee Association put together this course as a foundation course to help brand new roasters, if you're brand new to coffee roasting, or even those who have been doing it for a little while and just need to take a step back and say, you know what, I wanna make sure I'm starting off right and I'm doing things like global professionals around the world are. Well, in this course, you'll be equipped with that theory knowledge because so much of roasting is kind of going on up here while it's going on in the machine and you'll be given some great practical exercises and activities to participate in. So this course description from the Specialty Coffee Association is that uh, you, the learner, will get an understanding for the roasting process, including the physical changes that take place during the process of roasting and how to control those sensory aspects of the coffee by roasting lighter and darker with using different methods and avoiding roast defects. Learners will also gain an understanding of the basic structure of the roasting machine, general maintenance, fire prevention, and more. So I embellish a lot of the material in this course because I love roasting, so you get pieces of experience and the intermediate professional content also sprinkled into this course. But specifically in this course, we'll explore coffee roasting basics, some of the roasting terminology, roaster elements and machines, how to control your roast. There's a practical exercise controlling your roast, two, three practical exercises to control your roast. There will be various stages in the roasting process as we look at those and explore those. Physical changes in the roast process, producing a roast profile, using your roast plan with the profile. Okay, so planning, profiling, kind of how those play out. Recognizing and controlling critical events in the roast, transformational changes of the coffee during the roast, the impact of uh, heat sources and how to control those, taste and aromas as they're impacted by the roast, how to use and understand roast logs. We'll start doing calculations. And as you do more of those calculations by hand, on paper, you'll really start to understand what's going on with machines and data loggers as we have technology to help us safety and maintenance, roaster cleaning and maintenance, and then there is a mock exam for your SCA certification. Now, this course and all the others at How To Coffee Pro include digital course resources. So you can see here roasting logs, we use sensory and Fahrenheit. I'll jump back and forth between those measures. Coffee taster flavor wheels, uh, protocols, cupping, and all of these can be bookmarked and accessed anytime at rock.coffee. So I have the foundation, intermediate, and professional modules described entirely there with the PDF resources and downloads for you. So make sure to get those, save those, use those, and share them with your team. Just give credit where credit is due for your resources. Now in this course, there are course activities. There are no required practical skills to pass the Roasting Foundations course. This is a new thing that was put in place as the SCA moved all their exams to be online. And with the travel challenges that COVID presented, uh, these can be done at a distance and via video and Zoom, Google meeting calls. Uh, you don't have to do the actual practicals, but should you want to now during the course or later before you prepare to move into intermediate professional courses where you do have to demonstrate your skills, you'll be able to examine unroasted green coffee, kind of a medium roasted coffee that matches the green. So comparing what happens, what starts in the green to that roasted coffee. You'll have roast logs and records for that roast so that you can do some calculations. And then kind of a specialty light versus specialty dark roasted coffee and cupping and comparing those. If you have the chance to put these materials together and do the exercises wherever you're taking this course, that's great. I strongly encourage you to get these coffees, make sure you're practicing, make sure you're taking measurements and examining. If not, 
you can go ahead and purchase those at the Rock Coffee Lab. There's a link here and I put them together. I have some fun coffees and we'll walk through those so that you know what you're working with. Uh, it lines up for the learning goals and outcomes of the activities. You'll need basic cupping supplies. Uh, it's important as you take this course and others that you are beginning to practice cupping professionally. Now, that's all for the course, but a really cool new feature within this course platform at How To Coffee Pro is the chance to share this course and any of the other foundations with a friend. When you share that referral link right here or up in your user bar, you can refer a friend, copy that link. When they sign up for their first course, they enjoy 20% off their first course and even the payment plan if that's how they choose to do it. Any course at uh, Rock can offer this. Any course at How To Coffee Pro can be purchased using this link. And as long as it's able to track, you will then get a 20% discount code off of your next course. And so this is a great way for you to share with a friend, help your friend to level up. You're able to take that next course. Maybe you've taken green and roasting and you're ready to dive into sensory. Now you can save 20% and help a friend in the process. Thank you so much for joining this course. I can't wait to get started. As you see, these videos are being updated and they'll take place in different environments and settings. Thanks for enjoying and sharing with me as the program continues to grow and as you continue to contribute with your comments and questions, I'll keep updating the course materials. I look forward to helping you get certified. See you soon.